Hello guys, Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we are doing something a little bit different than my usual. We are gonna be doing a slight vlog, maybe hit up some rack stores, just go fragrance hunting in general and try to live up to my name, of course. But before we do that, we had to do the most important thing of the day and that is, of course, pick our scent of the day. So let's do that now before we go ahead and hit the road. It's around 85 degrees outside, which is pretty warm, even though it's kind of cloudy and gloomy. So for my scent of the day, I'm actually in the mood for a Louis Vuitton. As you see all of mine right there, I do have 12 of them. They are looking a little bit dusty though, so don't mind that. But I think I'm gonna actually go with one I haven't reached for in quite some time and is underrated, and that is of course Meteor. Now this was not a love at first sniff, even though it did grow on me after some time and love it now. And I think I'm gonna go with eight sprays of it. So let's spray this on and then hit the road. Ooh, we're smelling good now, guys. going down check out the new whip just got it washed yesterday still shining let's go start this baby up central on any drive to stop at duncan happy to have my coffee yet and it's already one o'clock so yeah this is gonna be much needed hi how may i help you Hello, I have a mobile order for Hunter. Hunter? Yeah. All right, Hunter, come on up. Thank you. Let me know down below what you guys get at Dunkin'. I usually get the basic, just a caramel iced coffee. There's nothing like that first sip of your Dunkin'. It's so refreshing. But yeah, on today's agenda, guys, we are going to this hidden gem spot that a lot of people don't know about where you can actually get 50% off of Tom Ford's even private blends. So. Yeah, hopefully we can find something there and I'll show you guys what store I'm talking about. So of course, stay tuned and don't worry about me. I know I got my hands off the steering wheel, but this thing basically drives itself, which is insane. So yeah, very convenient. What I mean by the car driving itself, guys, it literally steers and follows the lanes and follows the person in front of you, which is insane. Do not sleep on Kia, guys. These people have had the biggest comeback in the automotive game. And also check out the fit, guys. I got the crispy clean, white NMDs on feet. And I'm listening to, if you guys are looking for a good fragrance podcast, I absolutely recommend Less Odorants. These guys are incredible and I listen to them all the time. They have some phenomenal knowledge for sure. So check them out. Put up to the first location, which is the Cosmetic Company Store. If you don't already know about this place, you should because it is owned by Estee Lauder, who also owns, of course, Tom Ford, Joe Malone, Frederick Mall, etc. And you can find some things for 50% off of a retail price. So let's go ahead and go in here and check it out and see if there's anything actually worth picking up. Yeah, yeah. I saw this put like makeup in a way to Yeah. And then I, you know, All right, so we just got back from the cosmetic company store. As you saw, they did have quite a few Tom Fords, guys. And I did pick up one, which I'll show you now. And which one do you think I got? Let's keep it a secret. I picked up Vani Fatal, guys. This is one I've wanted for quite some time now. And you won't believe the price I got it for. I'll show you the receipt, actually. Pull that out. They gave me some extra free goodies also, which is always a nice touch. But we paid... After tax, $134.14. They were running a, I think, 40% off plus an extra 10. Or actually, 50% off final sale. As you see right there, regular $295, guys. We got it for $134. So, yeah, this place is no joke. If you're looking for Tom Ford's, absolutely check out the cosmetic company store. But right now, I think we're going to go hit up some rack stores like TJ Maxx, maybe Marshalls, Burlington, whatever we can find around this area. So, yeah, let's keep on fragrance hunting. So I actually just realized we got that Tom Ford for over 50% off. It was actually 50% off plus an extra 15% because if it would have been 50%, it would have came to 147 rather than a 125 before taxes. So that's an absolute steal. Right now, I think I'm gonna head into Adidas because I need to pick up some socks. So let's go in there now. All right, so we secured the Adidas bag and now it's actually raining. So let's get back to the car and Adidas gang over Nike all day long. Dang guys, it is a downpour out here. If I get out of my car, I'm gonna get absolutely soaking wet. But right now, we're actually heading to Marshall since there's one close by. And I haven't been in this area for quite some time now, so might as well hit some of the rack stores around and see if we can actually find something good. So yeah, I'll see you guys there in a minute. Stay in 
Luckily the rain stopped a little bit, so let's see what we can find in here. These cremos are actually pretty good for the price, especially. What is it like? Yeah, $12.99. Never tried this one though, but it doesn't sound to be my liking with sandalwood and suede. Got this fragrance bin. So I just throw them in here. I'm surprised none of them are broken, but over in the women's section, I actually don't see anything that's worth getting or that stands out at all, unfortunately. All right, so just leaving Marshalls, we pretty much got drenched on for no reason because that was a bust. So let's head to the next location and maybe we can find something that is at least worth picking up. So we just arrived to Burlington. I'm not sure what's going on. I've never been to this one before, but they are missing a sign and they got this kind of sketchy, sketchy entrance. So let's go ahead and go in here and check it out. They might have just opened. So hopefully they got some good stuff. So I've actually been looking for this at Burlington because they have it on a great deal, 40 bucks for the 100 mil and it is the Eau de Parfum. But I'm not 100% sure. I did find this Explorer Ultra Blue for only $27.99 and it is the 60 ml. That's actually a steal even though I never really smelled it and of course the original is a clone of Aventus so mm, not sure. However, if you are looking for a good Aventus alternative at a fraction of the price, check this one out for $19.99. It is Black Walnut Legend. Fantastic. With a heavy dose of this dark black leather that kind of resembles ombre leather, so it's kind of a mixture. Even though I don't see CK1 reflections, if you do find it at Burlington, just go ahead and pick it up. It's a fantastic Calvin Klein summer fragrance that I am going to review very, very soon, but I don't see it here. So we just got back in the car from Burlington, it left empty handed. I wasn't really sure if I wanted that Defy EDP for 40 bucks, mm, kind of just passed on it. And that Explore Ultra Blue, it was on clearance for $27.99, which is a great price. However, I looked it up on FragranceNet and it's around the same price. And the 100 mil is only like 34 bucks, which I would have probably rather had. So yeah, just passed on both of those, but that did have actually a pretty good stock of things for a brand new Burlington. So right now, I think the next stop is going to be TJ Maxx since there is another one in this area. So let's head over there now and I'll see you there. Man, you guys ever seen a bridge that has a stop light to go and not go? This is pretty sketchy. I'm not even going to lie to you. So we just pulled up to this TJ Maxx, which usually is pretty good on the fragrance selection. You might remember this spot in my first vlog I did maybe three years ago. And I also got a gift card that I'm trying to spend. So if you know, there's nothing good if I don't spend the gift card. So let's go ahead and check it out. They do got Clinique Happy for Men, which I heard is similar to Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim. So this might be a possibility to pick up because I haven't smelled this in years. I did find this Alien Man by Mugler for I think 40 bucks, but it is only the 50 ml. So probably not pick it up. So I just found this hidden gem that I've never seen in my life. Moschino Forever for only, I think, 16 bucks. It is a 30 ml, but I've never seen this. So let me know if any of you guys actually tried this one. All right, so we're just leaving TJ Maxx. Obviously didn't find anything really there either. There is one more TJ Maxx that I want to stop at, and hopefully we can pick up something from one of these rack stores. I've been hoping to find some of those clones that a lot of people are finding, like the red tobacco clone, etc. but I haven't seen any of those at any rack stores I've been going to for the past couple of months. So let's get back in the car and head to the next location. So we just hit that 600 mile braking period on my brand new car. So let's give it some gas and see what this Kia is all about. How about under the tunnel as well so we can get some good sound. All right, let's get it. Whoa. Okay, this little four cylinder turbo is not messing around. Yeah, it actually picks up pretty good once that turbo kicks in. So yeah, not bad for a Kia. So since I'm in the area, I decided to actually stop by my first apartment and I haven't been over here since I moved out, probably over two years now. And this is actually where my YouTube channel started Turn was right. in this apartment. So yeah, all the memories, guys. This is crazy being back here. Proceed. Yup, that's where Fragrance Hunter started, right there on the third floor bedroom, guys. That is crazy. Wow. Wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for this apartment. So this used to be my main TJ Maxx, so hopefully we can find something here. If not, this is gonna be the last stop until we go get something to eat because I am starving from all this shopping. I do have this John Marvados Vintage for 45 bucks. It is the 4.2 ounce bottle, so I actually don't have this in my John Marvados collection, so I might be able to pick this one up. I did hear this Oceanic Edition cool water was absolute garbage, so if you see this, probably not the best idea to pick it up, especially for 30 bucks. 
All right, just leaving TG Maxx, man. I gotta tell you, these rack stores are absolutely lacking when it comes to the fragrances. I haven't been able to find a decent fragrance in quite some time from these rack stores, but oh well, at least we found that Tom Ford for 65% off. Now I gotta go to the bathroom and get something to eat because my stomach is growling. Just pulled up the Culver's, which is probably one of my favorite uh, fast food places. Haven't had it in over two years, so yeah, this is a must by far the best fast food burger maybe outside of five guys if you consider that fast food plus got a beautiful view of the whip which still looks shiny clean even from going through that downpour of rain so let's eat <sighs> gotta have that barbecue and that culver sauce let's try the crinkle cut fries Nice and hot, I guess, is turned into a food channel as well. <laughs> that mushroom and Swiss burger. Mm, delicious. Guys, we are literally driving through a flood. I mean, like, straight up a flood. What in the world? Look at this. Straight downpour. So I'm currently driving home right now. I think I'm going to wrap this vlog up because once I get home, I'm probably going to edit this, watch some UFC tonight, and that's that. But I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog, and hopefully I'm going to do some more of these because they are a lot of fun, especially today going down memory lane and looking at fragrances and picked up, of course, that Tom Ford at a bargain of a steal. But besides that, guys, if you did enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and of course, I'll see all you guys back in my next upload. Take care, everybody.